Morning everyone, so time for another video. Um, I just thought I'd show something that might be quite useful. Um, it's quite niche, um, but it's something that I've wanted to do for a while within my home network and I was able to um, do it this morning. Um, so when you're sort of a network engineer, um, you might have your own environment, you might have a fancy router or a fancy firewall. Um, and for some of the broadband services, potentially for your customers as well, um, you don't want these annoying little boxes that the providers are supplying. Um, so people often put them in uh, pass-through mode, uh, which essentially um, for some of the FTTC circuits or legacy DSL circuits, uh, the signal comes in as analog and then it get the box converts it to digital well in the FTTP world there is uh, an appliance known as an ONT so it's this appliance here I have one on on my wall uh, uh, at the back of me here um, it's provided by openreach M most within the UK will be um, so the what was happening traditionally was um, the fiber was going into the optical interface uh, and then there was a cable um, from the LAN port going into the um, Sky router. Um, I didn't like that um, and didn't want, didn't particularly want that box in within my environment. Um, it was wireless router. Well, I don't use the wireless functionality of this box. I didn't use the functionality of the box at all. So um, I've been thinking of a way to try and replace it for some time. So if I bring up the next diagram, I just thought I'd show what I've managed to achieve with a little bit of configuration. Um, so historical way, ONT port one on that box went into the uh, Sky router modem. It's applicable to other vendors. Uh, other providers as well. Port one out of that box went into WAN one of my ATF firewall, um, and I simply pointed um, the configuration on this appliance to uh, hit the internal interface here. Uh, again, didn't like that, didn't use the functionality of this box, didn't want to have to do port forwards or anything like that. So uh, been looking at a way of getting rid of that for, for some time. So what I've managed to achieve and uh, be able to demonstrate in, in this video is simply getting the ONT box to patch straight into the FortiGate firewall on WAN1. Um, there's a couple of ways of, of doing this, which um, I can demonstrate now. So if you are a Sky broadband customer, um, on the WAN interface, simply set it to DHCP, but then you need to do config client options, edit one, you set the DHCP option 61 with, and send a string. This can be anything from, from, from what I was I, I, uh, able to extract from packet, packet captures, that kind of thing. But basically, when the DHCP request um, is sent, the gate responds with these values here uh, and then after f uh, two or three minutes Sky actually respond with a public IP address um, and yeah you've you've completely bypassed um, these uh, piece of shit appliances that get in the way very often. Second method um, this is applicable to like Zen um, in the UK, I, I know that they, they use this method, is if you go into onto the WAN interface, set the PPP OE option, they will provide you with a username and password as part of the hand, handover, plumb that in, um, and that should work just fine also. Quick video, thanks for your time, see you in the next ones.